Okay, so I would come up, of course, is to tell the user, click on Microsoft Visual Studio File New Project. I would take the screenshot of that before I got to here with it. And then I would t once they got up to here, this is where I'm looking for. I will be looking for this to when I grade your five checkpoints. Okay, the five checkpoints are what are they? So here's what you do. I want to take the let me move this down here. Take the screenshot of that. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four is the path, and five. Make sure you disable, meaning do not check this. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to capture this screen right here by doing Control Alt Print Screen. All right. So make sure you have Control Alt. Okay, print screen. I would come over to my Word document over here, Control V, paste it. Now in here, I want to tell you what those five checkpoints are. So the five checkpoints are what? Make sure you have Win32. Make sure you have Win32 console application. Make sure you have the name of project. Okay, make sure you have the path for the location, okay, where you want to store this thing. And lastly, you need to have what? Disable the create directory or solution. Okay, so make sure you have this. This is very important. If you don't have this, this is not going to work right with it. Step number four, once you do that, you're going to click OK. After you do that, you want to tell them, you know, click OK. All right. So step number four, I'm going to do the next part is make sure you application settings with this thing. Make sure you click on the application settings. So this is the next part I'm going to show you. Click on the application settings. Okay. Okay. Then I come over here, click on that, the application and settings. This is this window right here. So after I click on the application and settings with it, what do I do? I need to take the screenshot of the same. Control Alt print screen. Okay. Make sure you got this thing empty right here. So make sure you have this thing empty project. I'm going to do that like that. So you can actually I want to paste on and. I want to say enable the um, the empty project, okay, and I want to take a screenshot of that. Looks like this, okay. So this is what it looks like, okay. When I once I paste that in there with it, and then you come in here. Let me check the time here, and then and then you come into the thing. You want to come into the thing. You're going to uh, tell it to click on finish. So after you do that, tell it to click on finish. Okay. Now you're going to set up your first hello world. All right, with this thing. So I want to do um, input the test script. I'm going to call this thing the hello world. Okay, so let's take a look at that thing. Okay, how do you add, need to add a new file? Right, add is the C++ file. Okay, so this is how we're going to add a new file. New file. Okay, so let's let's look at this thing. How you want to do this thing? So, I need to right mouse click, come over here, right mouse click on this project name, right mouse click on it, come down and do add new item. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for me for a second. I'm going to print the screen. Okay, then I'm going to come back here, paste it. Oop, no one. So let me do that again. Add new item. Print the screen. 
Okay, so add new item. I want to say what? Right mouse button on the project name, right? And then I'm going to select the add. Then I'm going to do new item. Okay. So what is the new item I'm going to add? New item. Okay. This is what it looks like right here. This is very important. You need to click on the .cpp for me. Make sure you click on the .cpp and then you come down here and you're going to give it the word main. Main. Like main. M-A-I. Okay. So I'm going to capture this one, just the window. Alright. Control Alt with it. Alright. I'm going to paste this into here. Now what step is that? That's uh, step five. So this makes this steps number six. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to actually come down now and, and, and show you. And then you're going to click on the add button. Okay. So that's what I'm looking for is that. Cool. So once you have this thing, when you make sure you click on the .cpp, click on it, and then you type the name. Okay, so I would, I would highly recommend you, you know, make sure you have, click on the C++ file with the .cpp and click the add and uh, no, not that. Uh, type the word main. Okay, in the name field. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Make sure you have this, and then you click on the add button with this thing. And this will be, this would actually allow us to actually start adding that file. Okay, here it is. Okay. Now, what I'm about to do next is just only, um, you know, just to show you how to change the font size, the, 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 the number line, and, um, and, and, and the word wrap. Okay, so this next three steps is... You don't have to do this, but it helps if you have it. So I'm not going to grade you on this thing. But this next step is uh, is basically you need to add um, uh, add word wrap, um, and then you need to do what word wrap, and then you need to do the uh, number line, and then you need to um, change the font size. Okay, change the font size. Okay, so this is what uh, what this is about with it. So you're welcome to do this. I don't grade you on this thing, but you need to go to Tools, come down to Options, Tools, Options, and it pops up this, this dialog box. You come down here, you find Fonts, 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 Leave as Console as. You're going to change that to what size 20, so I actually show you when I type up this right here. And then i like for you to come down and find the text editor, find the C++, check the word wrap, and check the line number. There you go. Under word, under C++, text editor. Three things, okay? You got your font size, and you have your text editor, and then you can expand the C++, and then you're going to find that word wrap is right here, and line number is right here, and you click OK. I'm going to start out with with you. Give me a second. Let me check how many minutes I have. Let me let me pause here.